I did not know that there would be another trailer for Chainsaw Man but I sure ain't complaining. Who knew that I'd be talking about Chainsaw Man yet again? But this trailer right here looked absolutely brilliant. Let's break it down visually, shall we? The trailer opens up with some static shots featuring dialogue, some of which we've actually seen before in the previous trailer. If you want to see me break that trailer down, I have already done so. But for this one, I'd like to draw your attention towards the color palette. It's common knowledge that Chainsaw Man will go for a cinematic style and aesthetic, and here is that style in effect. Notice how the colors are a bit washed out, a bit, I don't know if this is the correct way to say it, but drab. The color palette is not very aggressive is what I'm trying to say. I believe they want to tone down the cartoonish aspect of the visuals to whatever extent possible. I mean the main character has a literal goddamn chainsaw sticking out of his head, good luck not looking cartoonish, but the toned down colors adds a sense of realism to the visuals. Again, the main character has a chainsaw sticking out of his head, there's only so much realism that you can pull off. This trailer follows a similar structure as the previous one, with the first half being static dialogue and the second half being action. Works for me makes it easier to write the script. But make no mistake, there is a lot to look at even during these static shots. Pay attention to the way the shots are framed and the camera angles as you'd call it, even though there isn't an actual camera. This frame here and the unique perspective on the tombstone, or this tilted shot here with the character at one side of the screen. I'd say they want to make each and every individual scene fun to look at, and the unique storyboarding is one of the many ways they are going about it. I guess we can thank Ryu Nakayama for some of these storyboards. We I have already seen most of the character designs but I didn't go into much detail in my previous breakdown, so I'll do that here. The characters have a very sleek, modern look. Their faces are not overly detailed but their outfits have a ton of effort put into them. Notice the amount of folds and crevices on their clothes, and the shading for the same. I'd guess the outfits also move in a very lifelike way. The relatively plain faces still look gorgeous, and of course, they are not always plain, there are several close-ups that have a ton of detail. They also essentially mean plenty of movement in the form of character acting, and we saw some some brief glimpses of the same in the trailer itself. Also the backgrounds look stunning, especially during a few specific cuts. They are obviously going for the photorealistic CGI backgrounds as opposed to the cartoonish hand-drawn ones and I would not have it any other way. Just like the color palettes, the realistic backgrounds also adds to the overall cinematic look that they seem to be going for. Of course, these backgrounds also allow complicated camera work. Around the halfway point in the trailer, we enter the action segment and there's a surprising amount of hand-drawn stuff here. I genuinely expected much more CGI in the foreground. I had a difficult time trying to differentiate between CGI and 2D in the first trailer, but I think I figured it out. The Denji scenes inside the shed appears to be CGI, while any other piece of action seems to be hand-drawn. I think that's because the inside of the shed has very little light, and lighting generally looks awkward on CGI models. But again, if I'm having this much trouble separating the two, mission accomplished. The very first bit of action that we see is a very tightly edited sequence using clips from what appears to be three different fights. These are also clips that we have already seen for the most part. The action scenes appear to be using a ton of smear frames, which basically means the movement will flow naturally and not look awkward and choppy, something which big action shows occasionally fall victim to. Hopefully that also means little to no unnecessary motion blur. The overall animation is fluid, retains most of its detail, and just all around looks good. You can feel Tatsuya Yoshihara's fingerprints all over the action for the show. I also find it worth mentioning that every action scene appeared to have well-coordinated background movement, which is very important if they want to go with a cinematic look. None of the backgrounds seem to resemble PS2 graphics, and the textures on them didn't stand out in a negative way. The artwork, especially for some of the eye shots, looked absolutely phenomenal, and also the effects animation is top tier. The way the liquid elements move is really well done. I also really like this one cut in particular. I really like it, it might just be my favorite cut from the trailer. The actual choreography doesn't appear to be anything out of this world, but the action, being really fast paced, seems a bit difficult to follow at times. Of course, that may just be due to the tightly edited nature of the trailer and I may not be accurate. It's difficult to be sure from just a trailer. There were scenes where you could feel the impact and the force, the well-timed motion blurs, the effects and debris animation, all of that collectively made certain scenes feel really impactful. Then there is the final scene, and I really appreciate the vision behind it. I can practically see how they wanted it to look. It could use a few more frames in between as it flows a bit awkwardly. I felt that something was a bit off about this cut and going frame by frame, it seems that Denji's right arm magically turns into his left arm. A bit of a mess up. Or it may just be two different scenes tightly edited together for the trailer. But nitpicking aside, god damn it this shot looks gorgeous. I'd put in a bit more detail in the chest area but otherwise it looks phenomenal. As for the overall composite, everything looks pristine. Same goes for the art direction. No bad filters, no bad CGI backgrounds. It looks really well put together. You can feel the amount of attention that went into each and every scene. When it eventually comes out, please don't give all the credit to the budget for the love of god. So that was it. What did you think of the trailer? Comment down below. Make sure to
sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and until next time